Let's solve this nice exponential equation, which is x to the power 6. This is equal to 4 to the power 6. The first step here, let's take 4 to the power 6 on the left-hand side, so that here we'll have x to the power 6, subtract 4 to the power 6. This is equal to 0. The next step here, we can express x to the power 6 as x to the power 3 squared, subtract 4 to the power 6, which you can express as 4 to the power 3 squared, this is equal to 0. Now, this is actually in the form of a squared, subtract b squared, which so this is in the form of a squared plus b minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. So a is equal to x to power 3, and b is equal to 4 to power 3. Substituting this, we'll have that a plus b here. This is x to power 3 plus 4 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Now, we have a minus b. This is the same thing as x to power 3. Subtract 4 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. The next step from here, let's solve equation 1. Let's call this one case 1. So here we have x to power 3 plus 4 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Now, actually, this is a sum of two cubes expressed as a to power 3 plus b to power 3, which we can express as a plus b. a squared minus ab plus b squared. So from here, we have x to power 3 plus 4 to power 3, which we can express as x plus 4. Here we'll have x squared subtract 4x plus 4 squared, which is 16. This is equal to 0. So this is the first part. So here you have x to power 3 plus 4 to power 3, which you can express as x plus 4. Then x squared minus 4x plus 16. This is equal to 0. So this implies we have two parts here. The first part is x plus 4. This is equal to 0. And the second part is x squared minus 4x plus 16. This is equal to 0. So that implies that the first value of x, that is x1, is equal to minus 4. And let's solve for the other values of x in this quadratic equation, which is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. So this implies that from this quadratic equation, the value of a is equal to 1, the value of b is equal to minus 4, and the value of c is equal to 16. So that's me, that implies that so for the value of x2 and x3, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all this divided by 2 times a. So substituting the values of a, b, and c, we'll have minus minus 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 4 squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 16, all this divided by 2 times 1. So now here we have minus times minus 4, this is 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, which is 16, subtract 4, negative 4 times 16, which is negative 64, divided by 2. So this implies that here we have 4 plus or minus. Now we can express square root of 16 minus 64, this is minus 48, divided by 2. And therefore here we have 4 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 48 as square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1. Then all this divided by 2. So let's proceed from here. So we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So in this case here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, divided by 2. So here we can factor out 2, so that we'll have 2. Into the bracket here, we'll have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3, all this divided by 2. So let's simplify here too, so that here we'll have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. And this implies that x2 is equal to 2 plus 
2i square root of 3. And x3 is equal to 2 subtract 2i square root of 3. So these are the values of x2 and x3. And these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. So let's proceed to solve case 2. Let's proceed to solve case 2. Now case 2 here is x to power 3. Subtract 4 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Now this is actually the sum of two cubes expressed as a to power 3 minus b to power 3. Which we can express as a minus b. A squared plus AB plus B squared. So x to power 3, subtract 4 to power 3. This can be expressed as x minus 4. Here we have, so we can express x to power 3 minus 4 to power 3 as x minus 4. X squared plus 4x plus 4 squared, which is 16. This is equal to 0. Now we have two part A. The first part is x minus 4. This is equal to 0. The second part here is a quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 4x plus 16. This is equal to 0. And this implies that x4 here is equal to 4. Now, we have the quadratic part here, which is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. Now, this implies that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 16. So, we can solve for the value of x5 and x6 by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all this divided by 2 times a. So, substituting the values of a, b, and c, here we'll have minus 4 plus or minus. Here we have the square root of negative 4 squared. Subtract 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 16. Then all this divided by 2 times 1. So the next step here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of. Now we have minus 4 squared which is 16 subtract. 16 times 4, which is 64. All this divided by 2. Now, here we have negative 4. So, this is minus 4 plus or minus. Now, this is the square root of 16, subtract 64. And this is minus 48, divided by 2. So, that now here, we'll have minus 4 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 48 as 16 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2. So let's proceed from here. Now here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2, which we can express as minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is the same thing as 4. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3 divided by Two. So here we'll have minus 4 plus or minus 4i square root of 3 divided by 2. So we can factor so you can factor out 2 so that we'll have here this is positive 2 here. Then minus 2 plus or minus here we have 2i square root of 3 divided by 2. So 2 and 2 simplifies so that here we'll have minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. So this implies that x5 is equal to negative 2 plus 2i square root of 3. And we have that x6 is equal to negative 2 subtract 2i square root of 3. So in this case, this implies that we have six solutions here. We have six solutions this problem we have six solutions we are by x1 we are by x1 x1 is equal to minus 4 then x2 comma x3 this is equal to now we have x5 equal to minus 2 
plus 2i square root of 3. We have x6 equal to minus 2, minus 2i square root of 3. And this implies that we have six solutions here. We have six solutions. x1 is equal to minus 4. x2, comma, x3. This actually is equal to, this is 2, plus or minus. We have 2i square root of 3. Then we have x4. We have x4 equal to positive 4. This is equal to positive 4. And we have x5, comma, x6, which is here, which is minus 2 plus 2i square root of 3. And x6, which is minus 2, minus 2i square root of 3. So this implies that we have six solutions. So thank you for watching and kindly subscribe.